This research paper introduces a novel approach to transferring poses from a reference avatar onto stylized 3D characters, eliminating the need for manual rigging or explicit correspondences. The proposed model combines the benefits of learning-based methods and classical mesh deformation techniques, allowing for zero-shot pose transfer between significantly different shapes. It utilizes a correspondence-aware shape understanding module to predict part segmentation labels and represent the shape of a 3D character as a latent shape code. An implicit pose deformation module then deforms individual surface points guided by a target pose code sampled from a prior pose latent space. To encourage realistic deformation and generalize to rare poses, the authors also propose a volume-based test time training procedure that can be efficiently applied to unseen stylized characters. The paper highlights the limitations of existing learning-based methods, which often rely on encoding global information and fail to generalize to stylized characters with large shape variations. Instead, this method focuses on local deformations, leveraging the power of classical mesh deformation methods that transform individual triangles. This approach is demonstrated to be effective in extensive experiments on both humans and quadrupeds, producing more visually pleasing and accurate deformations compared to baselines trained with comparable or more supervision. In addition to its technical contributions, the paper provides a comprehensive review of related work in the field of deformation transfer, including both classical and deep learning methods. It emphasizes the importance of local deformations for achieving better generalization to stylized characters, and suggests that encoding global information can lead to overfitting. The proposed solution has potential applications in animation, movies, and video games, where stylized 3D characters are commonly used. This research paper presents a novel method for pose transfer between human meshes and stylized humanoid characters. The approach combines a correspondence-aware shape understanding module and an implicit pose deformation module to transfer poses without requiring human effort to annotate the correspondence. The shape understanding module predicts a latent shape code and part segmentation label of a 3D character in rest pose, while the pose deformation module deforms the character in the rest pose given the predicted shape code and a target pose code. The authors survey existing works on mesh deformation transfer, skeleton-based pose transfer, and implicit 3D shape representation. They highlight the limitations of these methods, such as relying on human effort to annotate the correspondence, requiring a skeleton for pose transfer, or failing to generalize to categories where annotations are scarce. The proposed method uses posed human or animal meshes for training and deforms stylized characters of different shapes at inference. The shape understanding module employs an implicit autodecoder to reconstruct the 3D character, taking the shape code as input. The module is jointly optimized with the decoder during training, and the shape code is optimized to reconstruct the given character during inference. The module also predicts a part segmentation label for each surface point, which is supervised by ground truth labels during training. For stylized characters without part segmentation annotation, a self-supervised inverse constraint is proposed to facilitate part segmentation prediction. The pose deformation module represents a human pose by the corresponding pose code in the latent space of vPoser, which is trained with an abundance of posed humans from the large-scale AMAS dataset. The module uses an MLP to predict the offset of the query point, given the learned shape code and a target pose code. An efficient volume-based test time training procedure is introduced for unseen stylized characters. The method is trained only with posed, unclothed human meshes and unrigged, stylized characters in a rest pose, and is directly applied to unseen stylized characters at inference. The research paper discusses a novel approach to transfer poses from various modalities to an unrigged stylized character without additional effort. The pose deformation module learns a neural implicit function that takes the sampled pose code, the learned shape code, and a query point around the character's surface as inputs and outputs the offset of the query point in 3D space. The module is trained with densely annotated human mesh datasets and uses the ground truth offset as supervision. The training objective is defined as the Euclidean distance between the predicted offset and the ground truth offset. The paper also proposes volume-based test time training to address surface distortion and long-tail pose distribution issues. 
This involves fine-tuning the pose deformation module on unseen stylized characters and applying a volume-preserving constraint. The method is evaluated on various datasets, including MGN and Mixamo, showing improved pose transfer error and character smoothness compared to baseline methods. The presented research focuses on developing a model capable of deforming unrigged, stylized characters guided by biped or quadruped avatars. The model is trained with posed human or animal meshes and can be applied to unseen stylized characters in a zero-shot manner. Key components include a correspondence-aware shape understanding module, an implicit pose deformation module, and a volume-based test time training procedure. The method achieves better pose transfer accuracy and more realistic deformation compared to baseline models, as demonstrated through extensive experiments on both biped and quadruped categories. Ablation studies highlight the importance of the inverse constraint and volume-preserving loss in maintaining pose accuracy and local details. The method's ability to segment parts accurately, even in challenging characters, is also showcased. Overall, the research contributes significantly to the field of mesh deformation in pose transfer, offering a novel approach to character deformation. The paper discusses the evaluation data curation procedure for the Mixamo and MGN datasets, as well as the implementation details of the proposed method and baseline methods such as NBS and SPT. It also provides additional qualitative comparisons, deformation results, and limitations of the proposed approach. In terms of data curation, the authors follow the instructions in 37 to download testing data from the Mixamo website. 1 focusing on 19 stylized characters and randomly picking one motion sequence for each character. For the MGN dataset, they use the last 16 clothed human characters and sample 200 poses unseen during training to obtain ground truth deformed characters using the multi-garment net, 11. The proposed method's implementation involves computing occupancy with virtual laser scans and optimizing the shape code with a batch size of 2000 taking an average of 3.41 seconds. The detailed test time training, TTT, procedure is also outlined, which involves fine-tuning the pose module to perform two tasks. Deforming the stylized character to the target pose while being constrained by the self-supervised volume-preserving loss LV, and deforming the source human character in T-pose to the target pose, supervised by the ground truth human character in the target pose, LDR. TTT is efficient requiring only 20 iterations and 18 milliseconds without batching, and can be sped up to 12 milliseconds with a batch size of 8. The baseline methods, NBS, 35, and SPT, 37, are evaluated using their publicly available code and pre-trained models. For SPT, the authors train and evaluate the model on the dataset discussed in Sec.4.1 in the main paper, utilizing the small model, 70 to produce motion pairs and supervise SPT with ground truth skinning weights from small. The paper also includes more visualizations, including qualitative comparisons, FIG. 9, deformation results for both human-like, FIG. 10 and FIG. 11, and quadrupedal characters, FIG. 12, and limitations of the proposed method. The authors acknowledge that modeling other categories whose poses are not well studied remains difficult and that their method is unable to solve the articulation of hands, treating them as rigid parts. The research presented on pages 11 and 12 focuses on the evaluation of pose transfer techniques from in the wild videos to stylized characters. The authors compare their method with existing approaches, such as target source NBS, 35, and SPT, 37 showcasing improved results through qualitative comparisons in Figure 9 on Mixamo, 1. This improvement is attributed to the novel pose transfer algorithm developed. The algorithm's effectiveness is further demonstrated by transferring poses from in the wild videos to stylized characters, as depicted in Figure 10. The results highlight the potential of the proposed method in enhancing the realism of character animations. The study also discusses limitations in future work emphasizing the need for more diverse and challenging datasets to further improve the accuracy of pose transfer. The research paper discusses the transfer of poses from in the wild videos to stylized characters, focusing on both human and animal subjects. On page 13, the approach is demonstrated for human characters, 
showcasing the ability to transfer poses effectively as seen in figure 11. This involves capturing and adapting the poses from real-world videos to fit stylized human characters. The methodology is designed to preserve the natural dynamics of human movement while adapting to the stylized character's context. This summary covers the references cited in the research paper, focusing on motion retargeting, 3D human reconstruction, and shape deformation. The cited papers explore various methods for motion retargeting, including skeleton-aware networks, physics-based motion retargeting, and animation setup transfer. Some papers focus on learning implicit functions for 3D shape modeling, such as neural Jacobian fields, implicit function learning, and spatial deformation transfer. Others investigate 3D human reconstruction, including methods for combining implicit function learning and parametric models, learning 3D dense correspondence, and 3D human pose and shape estimation. Several papers discuss shape deformation, including automatic unpaired shape deformation transfer, learning shape templates with structured implicit functions, and local implicit grid representations for 3D scenes. Some works focus on motion editing, such as online motion retargeting, transfer learning of shared latent spaces, and variational UNet for motion retargeting. Additionally, papers on 3D character animation, including CADEX, learning skeletal articulations with neural blend shapes, and skeleton-free pose transfer for stylized 3D characters, are also cited. Other references cover topics like learning compositional representation for 4D captures with neural ODE, local implicit grid representations for 3D scenes, and occupancy networks for 3D reconstruction. The cited papers also include works on graph convolutional networks, learning implicit functions for topology varying dense 3D shape correspondence, and neural parametric models for 3D deformable shapes. Overall, the cited papers provide a comprehensive overview of recent advances in motion retargeting, 3D human reconstruction, shape deformation, and character animation. The research presented on these two pages focuses on various aspects of computer vision and machine learning, particularly in the areas of motion retargeting, shape matching, and 3D deformations. The authors discuss novel methods for improving generalization under distribution shifts, implicit field supervision for robust non-rigid shape matching, and physically-based motion retargeting filters. They also explore neural kinematic networks for unsupervised motion retargeting and spatially adaptive instance normalization for neural pose transfer. Additionally, the pages cover neural rigging for articulated characters, predicting animation skeletons, and detail-preserving 3D deformations using neural cages. The methodologies involve various algorithms and mathematical concepts, such as self-supervision, implicit field supervision, and physically-based models. The findings and novel ideas presented in these pages contribute significantly to the advancement of computer vision and machine learning in areas like motion retargeting, shape matching, and 3D deformations.